Hey, what's up guys? This is Lenovo. Today I'm going to show you using how to get all four moves in, for wind breathing in Demon's Slayer RPG 2. Uh, the first move here I just finished getting was E-Move. It's actually super useful for getting around. You can All you have to do is kill the trainer at 2% power. Super simple. In the video, I used it to get around a lot, as you can see here. For this quest, I was working on getting my arm move, which is like a like a like a dash kind of not like a dash, but like a slash more or less. And it's like a ranged slash attack. It's like a big white line that you can like, throw at people pretty much. Uh, this quest took a while. Uh, I'd kill slightly weak demons, weak demons, and abnormal demons. Abnormal demons, they're really hard if you don't pre like hit your attack before you start uh, before you start fighting them. So like you gotta swing before like right before they get to you. Otherwise, they'll get you in like a pretty much infinite combo, unless you know how to get out of it. Right here, I was finished up killing off some slight weak demons, slight weak demons, and uh, after that, I went back and I fought the trainer again at 12% power. This one was much harder, I died I think three or four times here, but after this, this is where I unlocked my uh, third move, which is my T move. It's basically like, a, imagine doing like five combo attacks just with like normal sword attacks but like all put together and you like it does it for you so and then i use this a lot in that battle here you can see i think i did it right here look let me showcase to you guys so here this is my team move there you go so as you can see that's what it looks like from here this is where i was right now fighting yabaha the reason i'm fighting him is so i can get my y move which is my fourth move for uh, wind breathing the Y move is super useful for like starting combos or ending combos. You can launch people away, so it like it launch them up in the air a little bit. It has very good range, I will say. It does a good amount of damage. Uh, so right here, I finished up killing Yabaha. He is uh, what you want to do when he uses arrow attacks, just block them. Honestly, super simple. All right, and there we go. Got my Y move. Hope you guys enjoy this part of the video. See ya. Hey, what's up guys, it's Hall Noise. Today, we're gonna be playing some Demon Slayer RPG 2, and I'm gonna be showcasing the wind breathing moves for you guys. There is currently four wind breathing moves. There's an E move, an R move, a T move, and a Y move. I'll be showing all four of those moves to you guys, and then I'll be showing you guys some of my favorite combos for wind breathing. Then I'm gonna be 1v1ing my friend Brad. You can see him in the back there. All right, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so for the first move, we're going to be using the E-move. Let's showcase it here on my friend Brad. It's basically a dash attack and it does a good amount of damage. Here we go. See? It does quite a bit of damage to him. Your character kind of spins around in a circle. It looks really cool as well. Alright, next to our R move, this move you unlock at level 30, I think. And last move you unlock at level 15. The R move is basically like a projectile you could throw. Here we go, let me showcase it to you. Boom. It's like a giant wind slash. All right, now to our T move, you unlock this one at level 70. Uh, this is like a really OP move. I don't really know how to explain it. You're just gonna have to see it to understand. Your character kind of teleports around and does a lot of damage. That one's very good and super useful. All right, onto our Y move. Our Y move does a lot of damage and it throws people up into the sky. Look, watch this. Very good, very good. All right, we'll get right into our combos next. See you there. All right, guys, let's get right into our combos here. I'm gonna be showcasing to you guys three different combos I made and that I use for wind breathing. Let's get into our first one. This is our first combo here. You do R move, then E move, then you do M once, then you roll in, do a T attack, and a Y attack. Also, you can put an E attack at the end of there if you feel like it. So that's our first combo. And our second combo, as soon as Brad gets back over here, because these combos are quite deadly. Listen, these combos could pretty much kill someone if you use the whole thing and able to land it all. All right, once we showcase, once, once we get Brad back over here, we can showcase our next combo, which is going to be roll in, do M1, roll in again, T move, Y move, then E move, then R move. That one does not as much damage, but it's still super, super powerful. 
Alright, let's get into our third combo here. I'm going to be telling you guys about my third combo. This is my third combo. So what you're going to do is you're going to do E move, then Y move, then your T move, and then your R move. That one's very good. Let me show you. Alright, here you go, Brad. Alright, so you do chops, then you do your E move, then you do your Y move, then you do your R move, and then you roll in and do your T move. Very good. And also you can finish them off with some M1s. Alright guys, let's get into our 1v1 portion of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright guys, now to get into our 1v1 portion of the video, we're going to be 1v1ing Brad. He is a really good water breather. He is the same level as me. Let's get right into the battle. Brad, jump when you're ready. Alright, three, two, one, go. part's really intense. I'm gonna try and go in for one of my combos here. Okay, E move. I just gotta get that. That T move. Nice. Okay. And then the Y move. Then the R move. And then the forward roll. And the T move. Nice. GG, Brad. Alright, guys. Let's get into our outro. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and YouTube. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye!